Hello, everybody. All right, so I am starting a pattern. Um, I started a really rough draft today and we are just gonna improve on it and finish it out. There's my pattern. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is you're going to need your scissors and of course a tapestry and but we would try the maybe the eye 5.5 millimeter some red heart super saver in the light sage so go get your supplies and i'll meet you right back here all right, here we go. We're going to start with the slip knot. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and just chain up two just to give us a little bit of height. And we're not going to count that. And then we're going to do half double crochets for this project. So a quick recap on that is we're going to yarn over and we just chained up two. So in this first chain is where we're gonna work our stitches. So yarn over. I'm just gonna go in the top loop and we're gonna pull up our yarn. And then we're gonna yarn over and go through all three. Half double crochet. Yarn over again, holding that hole with my middle finger and my thumb. And I'm gonna go back in there pull up a yarn, three, yarn over. We've just done two half double crochets. Now let's do two more. Yarn over, go in there and pull up your yarn. Yarn over, there's three. And then one more. Now we've got four half double crochets. And if you look closely, okay, we've done one, two, three, and then this fourth one is almost looking like it's going up and down. So just keep your eye on that one. If you need to, use a stitch marker to help you. Now we're just going to chain one just to get us around the corner. It's not for anything. And then in that last double crochet, this right here, this loop that's holding the thing is our chain one. And now we're going to do an increase. So we're going to put two half double crochets into this first stitch. Yarn over, go under both loops, pull up, yarn over, there's one. Yarn over, go back in there, pull up your yarn, three loops, yarn over, Okay, we just did an increase into that first half double crochet. Now we have three half double crochets left. We're going to put one half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then in that last one that's turned away, we're going to do another increase in there. So let's yarn over, go into the next stitch. There's one. Go to your next one. Put one half double crochet in there. And now for this last one. And you can, if you look at it, one, two, three. That's a stitch. We're going to yarn over and we're going to go in there and put two half double crochets. And that's what we have, the tiniest little bandana. I'm gonna chain one. I've had too much coffee. And now we have six half double crochets. And we're just gonna put one half double crochet in each. So yarn over and go in there and we're gonna to count to six. There's one. Next. Two. Three, four, five, and in that 
last one. If you look at it, you can see the three lines. One, two, three. Let you know that there's a stitch there. We're going to put the last half double crochet in there. Now we're going to chain one and turn. So we've done three rows. And now we're going to do another increase. So we're going to go from six to eight. So put two half double crochets in this first stitch. One and two. Then we're going to put a half double crochet into these next four stitches. One. Next one is two. Next one is three. And the next one is four. And in this last stitch, we're going to do an increase. So just turn it towards you. And we're going to put two half double crochets. There's one and two. Chain one and turn. It's adorable. It's tiny. And now we're going to do one half double crochet in each of these eight stitches. One, two, three, seven, and eight. Always have to fight for that last one, don't we? Again, we're going to do an increase. So we're going to go from 8 to 10. So we're going to put 2 in this first half double crochet. So that's 1 and 2. And then we're going to put a half double crochet in every stitch down until we get to this last one. In this last one, we're going to put two in there. One and two. So we should have ten. That first one's going to be curled, so just pop it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and now we're going to do one row of 10 half double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and... Gotcha. 10. Chain one and turn. Okay, so let's get some measurements out here going. Oh, I already have it out. Okay, so this measures about three and a half inches. About three and a half inches. So if you had like, like a tiny Chihuahua, a tiny Yorkie, you know, this would probably be a good size. This would probably be a good extra small size. I have to turn it this way so I can see it better. And of course, we'll, I'll show you how to chain it, chain the top when we get to the end. So just keep this one in mind. This 10, when you get 10 stitches, is a good for extra small. All right, so let's carry on. Uh, we're gonna free ball it now because I don't have any more notes. And now we're going to put an increase in this next row. So we're gonna go from 10 to 12. So yarn over, we're going to do one and two, one half double crochet all the way down, and then this last one, to, uh, bend it towards you, and we're going to put two in there. And I'll meet you down there at the end. Chain one, turn. Okay, and now let's do another increase. Yarn over, we're going to do a one and two, 
half double crochet all the way down and do an increase in that last stitch. That's 14. And don't worry if this is sticking its tongue at you. We're gonna fix that. Okay, so we just did, now we have 14. And now we're gonna do another increase and go up to 16. So two half double crochets in the first stitch and in the last stitch. So there's one and two all the way down, increase in that last stitch. We are now at 16. Okay, we're getting close to the small. This could probably even be a small. This is uh, about five inches. It's probably about five inches, so about smidgely over five. So, still small dogs, a little bit bigger than a Chihuahua, maybe a small Maltese, Yorkie, um, big Chihuahua, you know, somewhere in that range. This could be a good small. Maybe even do one more row could be a good small, okay? This is totally, there is no right or wrong, you know. Um, Harley would be considered a large. He's a standard poodle. Um, but I don't like it to be the size of a large because it doesn't look right on him. All right, here we go. Yep, doing another increase. We're going to go from 16 to 18. So two half double crochets in the first and in the last stitch. It's fun just to let your mind go. You know, this is like probably the easiest bandana uh, in the world. And I just can't think of anything more easier. I mean, other than like doing a, a single crochet or half double or double crochet, which you could totally do. Can even turn this into like a headscarf. Is that what they're called? Headscarves? Yeah, for sure now, this would be a small. I'm pretending like there's a dog here. Yeah, this could definitely be a small with the 18. So 16, 18, perfect for small. This is definitely five inches and this is five and a half inches. So plenty big. All right, let's carry on. Let's do another increase. We're gonna go from 18 to 20. One and two, and I'll meet you at the end down here. Meet you at the end down here. Now, what kind of language is that? Two, chain one. I don't know if it's helpful if I'm even saying any of this, but this is getting getting close to like a small Shizu Maltese. Uh, what else we got? Toy, maybe a toy poodle. Toy poodle could also be maybe back here at the 16, 18 row. Getting close to a medium, I think. So this was 20. Yeah, so 22, I would think, is definitely a medium. So let's go ahead and do another increase and get to 22. One and two. All right, 22. Perfect medium size. Perfect medium size, I think. All right, let's move on. So we're going to go from 22 to 24 and we'll be changing it up just a smidge one and two okay let's see where we're at here 24 okay and let's do one row of holding I call it 
and we're going to do one half double crochet all the way down for 24 half double crochets and chain one Yeah, and don't hesitate. We're not gonna hurt this by manhandling it a little bit and look at it, it just completely fixed it. All right, let's see here, 24. I'm gonna do one more increase. So let's do an increase in the first, an increase in the last, and we're gonna have 26. And that last stitch. 25 and 26 chain one and turn all right so this one i'm i'm calling it a large um harley is about uh probably like 70 um, like 65 70 ish pounds um i had a doberman she was around the same uh, weight and their necks were both, I mean, his is like a 17 inch neck. So this measures eight and a half inches. Almost, yeah, eight and a half inches. And it measures seven inches long. And I, I don't want it to be too long because it, it just drives him nuts. So I'm not going to do that to him. Now, if you have a bigger dog, obviously just keep increasing. Just keep increasing until it's as wide as you want. Um, and if you don't want it too wide, doesn't matter. You can, if you wanted this to be for your extra large dog, you can just chain longer ties. So you have a, a choice. You can either keep increasing, making it wider with shorter ties, or you can just leave it here and do it longer ties. There's no right or wrong. There really isn't. That's the fun of it. And you know what? We're going to do that other, the other thing. So let's go ahead and do a finger length. Cut that off. And let's go ahead and do that tie. Do I want to change colors? Yeah, I'm going to add some. Welcome to the mind of Rose. I'm going to add some dark green. Because I'm going to make this for St. Patrick's Day for my, my baby. I'm going to have it all written out in the the notes down below in the description box of the sizes okay uh, for a small for a extra small and small you're going to chain 20 okay so let's start with that one two three four five So just hold tight. We'll, we're gonna. I'll, you're, we'll catch up to you. Now for us mediums, large, and extra, we're gonna go on up to thirty. So let's add ten more chains. Three, four. In this second chain. Here's our first chain. This one doesn't count. That's our first chain. This is our second chain. We're gonna just do a single crochet. And each of these stitches, we're gonna do one single crochet. So we're gonna end up with 29. This number here doesn't really matter. So if you chain 20, you're gonna have 19. We did 30, so we're gonna have 29, but like I said, it doesn't matter. This is just to get around our pet's neck, so. We're just gonna do a single crochet all the way down. 
just to give it a little bit of girth. Okay, got that last one. I don't need to chain. Now I'm gonna bring my project back. Okay, this side is done. It's okay that it's curling. Now we're gonna pick up our work. This is where we tied off. You righties are gonna be over here. You're gonna be coming this way. Now, get my yarn set up in my hand and I'm gonna pick my project back up. And in that last stitch, just right there, I'm gonna put my finger on this And I'm going to go into that last stitch. Okay, so let's let's do that again slowly. This is how you join with like a single crocheter. So we have our we have our work. There's that last stitch. We did not chain one. We just finished that half double crochet. I mean, yeah, half double crochet. So I'm going to get my yarn set up in my hand. And I'm going to pick up my project. I'm going to hold this so it's not getting away from me. And then it's going to be, this yarn is going to be closest to me. And I'm coming from me straight out. I'm going through the stitch. And then I'm going to grab my yarn. And then I'm going to pull it up like a single crochet. Put everything down back there. And then we're going to yarn over. And we're going to finish our single crochet. That's a single crochet join. We've got it joined. And now we're going to go to the next stitch. And we're going to do a single crochet all the way down. Just like we're just crocheting along, just like we've not just joined a separate anything on here. We're just chained one and turn and we're cruising on down. Oh, I like the dark green on here. That's, it kind of makes me want to go around the edges. I might do that. And cruising on down. Not really worried about the, the count because I already ended it with the count I wanted. Okay. But I do want to pay attention that there is another stitch over here. And I can tell because I can see one two, three. I can see the three lines, which means there was a stitch there. Okay. And now I'm going to chain 30. If you're small, extra small, chain 20. All right, 30. So let's get this sorted out here. Okay, so I finished it. If you're right-handed, you're gonna be looking like this, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start crocheting back down. And we're gonna just go into that second chain like we've been. There's that first chain and here's the second chain. And you're gonna do one single crochet all the way down. And technically, if you're holding your project like this, it's going to be on that bottom loop. Okay. Let me get back to my side of the world. Okay. And I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to pick my second chain from the hook. And just do one single crochet all the way down. I think we will go on all the way around, give it that finished trim. Since I'm not making like 50 of these, I think I can do that. 
Okay, got a couple more. Okay, now I'm back. I did my last stitch, but here's that half double or that single crochet. Um, and when you look at it, it's going to have two lines here on the side. And that's, I'm, I'm just going for it. I'm going straight under both of those, which is just the side of the single crochet, just so I can definitely start being down on the side of the project. Now, if your project for some reason is sticking its tongue out at you, this is how we're going to fix it. If this doesn't fix it for some reason, you know, putting your hand on it and giving it some heat, what we're going to do is when we're going to go down here, we're just going to add some stitches. So this has something to lean out to, and it will fix that. So again, this edge actually looks pretty good, but since I changed color, I think it'll look nice with the trim. And all I'm gonna do, because this is a half double crochet, the stitches are not gonna be exact. So I'm just gonna randomly, I'm not gonna count, I'm just going to randomly try to get under two loops when I can, as much as I can, and go down. I don't want it, I don't want to be making it too stretchy, but I don't want to be making it so I'm not putting enough in to where it's bunching up. So let's just go down and just pick whatever. I mean, there's a hole there. I mean, I've gone through this a few times in some uh, tutorials, so I don't want to dawdle too long on it. I'm trying to keep my hands light so that I'm not making my stitches too tight. I really love this pattern. It's so simple. And... Um, now Harley's a boy, so I don't want to make him like a Valentine one, like pink or something, you know. But you can do any stinking color, and it looks good. Okay, so here's that bottom, and we did our four half double crochets. I'm going to go in the side of that fourth half double crochet, okay, in case you need to add stitches. Now here's the bottom. And down here, I think I'm going to put three single crochets. One, two, three. And then this is technically the first half double crochet. I'm going to make sure I go in there. And that just gives it more room. And that's really what it needs. Mine didn't need it, but I've... I've, I've, I've had to do that because I didn't put enough stitches to begin with. And then again, I'm going to go up. Now I've got my little tail here. I'm just going to take it with me, but you don't have to. I made one of these for Macy um, a few years ago, but I didn't write down the pattern. It was kind of like before I was doing any YouTube or anything and I just wanted her to have something pretty and I was trying to figure out how to do it and I completely was just overthinking it uh, where to increase where not to increase and everything and then today I just sat down and was like just do it and see what happens and here we are we figured it out together I love it when it happens like that. It's curious how we do that in our life, isn't it? We just overthink something when it's just simple. Just do it. Okay. Here I am back at the top. I've got like a weird funky monkey thing going on here. I'm going to go here in that first... This is actually my tail. It looks like it's a thing, but I'm going to skip that knot. And I'm going to go in that first one, okay, first with a single crochet. And now this bottom one, so I can bring this down, 
I'm just going to pick wherever I can get my hook in that's closest to the bottom. And I'm going to slip stitch that one. And pull that tight. And then I'm going to chain one. Chain two. <laughs> okay. Finger length. Tie that down. Oh, look, I have all my knots over here. How funny. Okay, so let's sew these. I'm gonna do a two for one here. I'm just gonna get them both in here. I've got a haul for you guys too. Went up to Hobby Lobby and went to the thrift store. And, um, I had a gift card. I'm, I'm, re I'm really gonna be focusing down on saving this year for vacations and stuff like that, but I had a Christmas gift card and so it doesn't really count. And you guys already know there's no right or wrong on sewing in ends. I just try to go back and forth a little bit. Okay. Oh, I like it. And if it's still like a little wonky, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of this. Mm. I love how this just curly cues. Is Harley in here? Come here, Harley. Come here. Come here, buddy. Let's try it on. Oh, you're going to have to be a model. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. I'm going to have to make the Harley my thumbnail. Yes, he actually got a bath. And I actually did a little TikTok thing with him today. I'm going to try and make, do some TikToks. I don't know. Not really up on all that stuff. So here we go. Did it for 26 rows for a large. Um, this is great. If I wanted to, I could take five off and just do a chain of 25 on each side. But I kind of like the extra little things that hang on it. Okay, there we go. This is our one of our holiday, easy, fun bandanas. You can do anything with it. I think I want to make some appliques. So uh, like I said, I think I'm going to do this one for like St. Patrick's Day. So I think I'm going to, I made that like coaster thing. I could stick one of those on there. Any type of embellishment. We could put a flower, a star, a sun, smiley face. I can put an H on there. I mean, we can just do so many things. I hope yours turned out great. I hope you love it. And I will just see you tomorrow. Take care, y'all.